Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back yet again in the colony section. Yet again, for one of the last few cursor maps. Currently, currently, uh, that is Cursor 17, breaking horror. Alright, oh, right. we have a map with enemy mirror cursor. Your cursor is anti-creeper, as always. Remove all the creeper to win. And this is one of the Tricky, Cor Tricky Corpse maps. There's only three left from Tricky Corp, and we've done all the others, and Tricky Corp did make it. So let's do it. We're doing the newest one of the ones that we haven't done, of course. So there is that. Just another cursor map I made in a few minutes. Not that fancy. Enjoy the map. Your starting location is in the top right, or northwest, of the map. Uh, there you go. So we are up here. Uh, should be top left. That's it, okay. There is a mirroring there, which is nice. That's AC, that's AC. That's AC, that's AC. But that's AC, that's creep. So this is bad for... Bad if they get that. Uh, in the corner, that's AC, and that is AC as well. So the corners are AC. Uh, nothing too much too fancy here. So, yeah, that's our goal. So basically, the real danger zones are the tops of the mountains. These two little... Uh, L spots and the big ol' ones. Everything else seems to be pretty, pretty bang in our favor. Uh, I do know with Tricky's maps, it does take a little bit for the cursor to turn on. So I'm going to put it right in the center to start. Uh, let's go with our map indicator. There we go. Going to go in the center to start just to uh, let our cursor kind of wake up, so to speak, right? We're getting this show on the road. I just don't want any creep to be spawning if we can't be breeding AC. And it looks like we actually have a little bit of ace. Wait, we have some AC breeding and they have nothing breeding already. So technically speaking, if we do nothing, we win the map. Literally, if we leave our cursor here, we will win the map. That being said, uh, the good news is this did expand. It should have been, should be enough time for a cursor to start kicking off. And I do want to you know, get our cursor going. But we have a little bit of extra land, a little bit of flow going. And hopefully, yes, our cursor is going. So, as you can see, the creeper side is going as well. So, we're going to do, like, the, look at that. The creeper side is so much stronger than ours right now. So, we don't have, you know, we're not in exactly the best of places. That being said, we just want to get a little bit over there. And we want to get our butt over here. Right, 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 right. There we go. Get it on down there. Get it on over here, and let's go down. So now we're in the waiting game times, too. Let's run, let's run, let's run. They have more land. We have more land. We're able to actually kind of fight in the middle a little bit. However, the real key is we have... I'm going to pause. This breeding spot, this breeding spot, this breeding spot, and this breeding spot. And ideally speaking, this breeding spot and this breeding spot will trigger this. While if they can't never, tr if they can never trigger this, then that's huge mungulins, right? That's going to be amazing for us. So even though their cursor currently is stronger than ours, ours will spread in time, while theirs will remain the same. And once we can sort, once we know our cursor is stronger than theirs, which we'll know from the center. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. So theoretically. Once the AC in the center overtakes the creep, we know we are winning the strength war, right? And that's because we've we've bred enough, we've spread enough. Uh, as you can see, the le top left side, our AC is actually making it to the L, and the creep is not. The creep has stagnated and is actually drying up. And if you look at the center, the AC is kind of starting to win. It's not 100% yet. But we're not we're not exactly in a bad spot. Not in a bad spot. That being said, ooh, we're not quite getting to where we want to get to, right? Like the oh oh if it just keep spread. Just it's spreading right now. I think it might get to the end. We can also see up here. Boom, that's moving. So we have this area moving towards this, this moving towards this. So we're trying to gain these breeding grounds while they do not. If we can get both of them, that would be incredible. As you can see, right now, we are gaining the bottom left side. Which does mean, if we take their side over here, when we take this, we'll have AC here. They won't have creep here. So we don't need to be like in that area as long as they do. 
and we can sort of steal it from them in that regard. I do want things to breed one, at least one more time. So let's make sure that happens. It's all happening now. How how deep is that breeding? Oh my gosh, that's that's actually pretty deep, right? We got some deeper of the creeper. Oh, look at this. Yeah, you can actually see the difference in our strength. Oh, are we, are we just like the dominant species now? Oh my, look at that. I think we might be. I think I think we've taken enough land that we are kind of dominant. So we can start having some fun, right? Like we can come over here. Just sort of drain this a bit, right? We don't need to drain it too much. Just kind of enough. Just enough. And bring it back. Bring it back. So, ideally speaking, we're about to have a breeding cycle, which is perfect, right? That should, in essence, save the top, take the bottom. That's our goal right now. Save the top, take the bottom. And we got this big zone. We're going to get this zone next. Oh, it's all kind of, it's all kind of kicking off. Like, it sounds weird to say kicking off, because it's very slow. Right? It's a very slow process. However, this very slow process is very good for us. Um, hmm. See, the problem is I want to go this way, but I don't want to give them that, right? I want AC over there. So the question is, do we want... Like, how are we going to take things? Hmm. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go... Bloop, and then we're gonna go blah, blah, blah. right just a little bit of each a little bit of each a little dab will do you theoretically the ac should win because ours should have been stronger the ac won the bottom the ac wins that top which it looks like it just did okay we now have even more power and that's a split breeder power having a split breeder power is huge 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 huge, huge. so i think we can realistically start going for broke now right all of this we have we can actually go for this and this now i think i don't think they're going to be able to take that so now that's our goal our goal is just to go blammo and just zoom up here and go blammo and oh no 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 be a little bit of that a little bit of that and a little bit of ooh, 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 ooh. yeah see they can't take this anyway so it doesn't matter we can we can just ac it up nice we just keep that ac'd and yeah i think i think we've essentially just kind of won just like that so boop, boop, boosh and we'll come back here give them whatever they want in the bre in that zone but as you can see, we've now taken significantly more land. We now have both we have both side split breeders. Everything is turning to AC. We are the we are the dominant species on the map again, as as stated. Uh, there really isn't any. I think that's basically. Oh my, it's a little bit easier than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But that's okay. It doesn't always have to be hard. And again, there's not very many maps left, so we're just gonna enjoy what we can with what we got. Uh, that should be it in theory. I think that's all creep off the map. There you go. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I think we did that pretty well. We're making so much AC, it's actually spilling out of the center. That's how That's how good our coverage is. Mm -hmm. uh, give it to me. Give it to me. We need it. Having the safe spot to put your cursor, I think, is the most important thing, though. Bullwinger. Probably could have taken some actions a little earlier and such. But that's a, okay. How did we do? 454. It took a while for that to spin up. I think we were around the 430 something. But not a bad time. There's a 448. Um uh, sure there's gotta be phased to this uh uh no, no, so far so good. So far pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Oh man, we are so close. Like we were so close to doing it amazing! Oh, so close, right there. Six seconds, basically. Oh, very, very close. But yeah, very neat way to do it, though. It's like it's like those little gains that you like incrementally get, but then you have to sort of pause and think about and make sure everything is just right. So I really enjoy that kind of stuff. Granted, you know, it's very nice to just have that hard press, you know, fight against the enemy, right? You know, you're attacking, you get some area, you get a command there, it helps you take more. That's a, that's honestly a very, very good as well. Just very different, different styles, and that's quite all right. 
So this has been officially Cursor 17 breaking the mirror. I think we broke it pretty good. Not the best lore, lore. Ah, uh, so close, so close. But it's pretty darn good. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a go. I'm sure you can beat my time without a doubt. And I will catch you next time. Have a wonderful day and take care.